torus is the shape of electromagnetic fields, the energy that emanates from all things. It is the energy that binds reality. It cannot be seen or felt normally. However, if you take two magnets and put their opposite ends together, you will feel the torus field. The torus is the shape of everything. Just think about it for a minute. All creatures you can observe have holes at either ends of their body in which they intake and excrete matter through. The rest of their mass seems to grow around this central passage. And at the centre of the torus you find the heart, the single most important part of the body and the place from which we feel the most powerful of our emotions and energy. Look at an apple. The seed lies in the centre and the apple grows around it in a toroidal shape to protect the seed that represents its potential future. The flesh of the apple once dropped decays and provides nourishment for the seed to grow as the torus field of the seed grows. When the seed takes root, it flows from the centre in a toroidal shape, the roots reflecting the branches above. The Earth's magnetic field dictates where life can exist on its surface. At either ends of the planet are somewhat inhospitable frozen masses. At the centre is the equator, leaving everything in between reasonably lush and a perfect environment for life to exist. That is not to say that life cannot exist on the equator or poles. Much life does, but it is rare compared to the surface in between. The heart of the torus of the Earth is the core. Again, the place that all of the planet's energy flows through. The Earth rides along the great torus field of our Sun. Our Sun rides the great torus field of the singularity at the centre of our galaxy. And I would bet that our galaxy, and all galaxies, are riding an even larger and greater torus field of an even greater singularity. I touched upon this in my video on time. I believe the universe is a great torus, and everything is being pulled into a singularity at the centre of the phenomenon that we have called the Great Attractor. This is a point in space that everything we have observed thus far in the universe seems to be moving towards. I would say that this is probably the point it all began. It only makes sense if the universe is a giant torus. The torus of our sun also protects us from harsh and harmful space weather and radiation. At the utmost edge of our solar system is what can only be described as a barrier. We have measured the radiation inside and outside of this barrier, and if it did not exist, there would be no life in our solar system, as the intensity of the radiation on the outside is so powerful nothing could withstand it. The torus represents infinity, the great cycle that at the end of time is reborn over and over. If you take a cross section of a torus field you get the symbol for infinity. That does not mean that the universe has no end, instead this would suggest that we cannot see its end because the toroidal universe is so incomprehensibly large that to us it almost looks flat for lack of a better description. The same way that earth seems flat when you go about your daily lives, but of course we know, or at least most of us do, that it is not flat at all. In fact, if you took the Earth and shrunk it down to the size of a pool or billiards ball, the Earth would be smoother than the ball. The idea of the chakras plays into the torus field of humans and suggests that a lot of problems come from blockages within the individual chakras, thus not allowing for the smooth flow of energy through our bodies. This is not a concept I am overly familiar with, so please, if you have any thoughts on that, please leave a comment down below. Toroidal energy fields are used in almost all of our technology, from batteries to motors. The Great Hadron Collider is a giant torus shaped device that we use to observe particles in the hope to better understand how the universe began and was formed, and how these particles like the Higgs boson come into being and their nature. This is no coincidence that that is the shape they decided to make it. It had to be toroidal. It has been suggested that the electromagnetic fields generated by our technology and counterparts are a huge problem for nature and the beings born of nature. It is posited that because we are around these foreign energy fields all the time, that they actually change the molecular structure of cells at the deepest levels, and have been said to have a link to increases in cancer and health issues all over the world. I don't know either way, but it's definitely an idea that I can understand and get behind. Torus fields like fractals are everywhere, all of the time, and also are mostly hidden until you look for them. Great hurricanes and storms flow and grow in the shape of a torus. Blood cells are torus shaped. Planets, planet rings, asteroid belts, solar systems, galaxies, 
and I'm convinced the universe too. Time is a torus. At its centre is the moment we exist in, ever-changing and flowing. A black hole or singularity is also a torus. This is very important because black holes are literally what binds the universe together. They are what form galaxies and the universe. Without these admittedly terrifying and monstrous phenomena, there would be no life anywhere. It's strange to think that they have an effect on the perception of time too. The closer you get to a singularity, the slower time seems. That is truly odd for something to do, unless you can learn to think that everything is a form of singularity in of itself. And that is the reason that time can be perceived differently by different beings in different states. The more and more I'm writing these episodes, the more I am beginning to see the truth about the universe. That everything is the same, fractal and toroidal by nature. Everything in the universe is one single thing, and all the smaller parts of it, however insignificant they may seem, are crucial and essential. Everything good and bad is essential too. The universe has no regrets and does not judge. Taurus represents everything, and that is why its symbol is that of infinity because the things that can be attributed to a torus are infinite and fractal. The torus is the form of flowing energy dynamics at every scale of existence. The 3D structure of the torus is the vector equilibrium. It is the blueprint by which nature forms energy into matter. We can observe it everywhere, in atoms, cells, seeds, flowers, trees, animals, humans, hurricanes, planets, galaxies, and even the cosmos as a whole. You are the torus. Take control of your mighty and powerful energy and transcend the reality you have been trained since birth to perceive. There is so much beauty and love all around you. All you have to do is find it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.